Hello YouTube, this is a video about how shiny my desktop is. See, shiny, really, really shiny. No, not really, but yeah. This is about ammunition. This is a 223 cal, cal, I think. 223 is what they are called anyways. Used in the AK-5s. Does a lot of damage on longer targets. A very straight bullet travel. This, like you probably can see, is a military round from the military. Got it from a friend. 223 AK-5 ammunition. Then we got, let's see here what goodies we do got more. We got a blank round. Never been fired. Also 223. I will put all the jewels in the description bar on the right side of the video. Or I do a what is it? A text thingy on the video. Animation. So let's see here. This is a three weight. Almost the same ammunition. This is I think the ammunition because it's military. Again, it's green on the bottom. It has crazy markings marking says 070 this is used for the AK-47 you can see the larger bullet compared to the 223's the AK-47 uses almost 3 weight you can fire AK-47 ammunition you can fire this is in a 3 weight rifle and that is considered what most people do use most commonly. Then we got, let's see here, we got 6x5 55, Swedish mouse ammunition. That's a little, the 308 is a little more powerful than the 605.55. And here you got one more normal round with a bigger bullet. This is also military ammunition. It says metal verket on it. These are fully loaded, may I add. I got a few of these. So here we got a few. Then we will move on to something a little bigger. This is uh, a round 9.357. This uses the lead tip. It gets kind of dented over here when you put it in and out of the rifle. This is a hunting round. Does pretty much damage, but it this. I would say ranks in about the same power as the 308, even though the round is larger. As you can see, pretty much ranks in about the same power. Then we got the 406. 406 is a common used round for hunting and for the M1 Garand. M1 Garand is a gun most of you know. 406 has the same width of the bullet as the 308. Like you can see, same width of the bullet. Actually, you use the same bullets in both, but with different casings. Then we got the more powerful 9.362. A little more powerful, a little fatter bullet. The 9.362 bullets actually use for hunting the same width and height of the same bullet as the 9.357s, but the 62 has more gunpowder. There is a 66, I think, 9.366 from Seiko. 
that bullet has a lot more power. But then we come to something fairly interesting, I think, in rifle bullets. You got the 7mm Magnum with a red tip on, a polymer tip. That's some kind of plastic that explodes the bullet fragments into several smaller bullets. But look at the back side of it. It has actually two layers on the downside of the bullet. Also new one, Remington, 7mm Magnum. This is a kind of a large round. I would compare it largeness to the 9362. Although, I don't think it will be visible in the video, but the bullet is actually coned, or the casing is actually coned, like you can see, hopefully, I don't know, it's a fraction of a millimeter, I guess. Anyways, let's put this up here. This, like I said, defragments to several smaller parts, sorry, and will totally annihilate everything you shoot it at. If you shoot at animal and hit like the back side of it, you will blow, blow the brains out of it because of the shock wave. And I need my screens because of the lightness. Then here's a Vulcan bullet. You can see the, the, the hole in it. Also 7mm Magnum. Like you can see, very interesting bullet. And just for comparisons, I will throw a 12 gauge in here to see the different sizes of the bullets and a view from the top side. The 6x5 55 is the, like I said, the Swedish Mauser. Then the 223 is for the AK-5. The 9.357 is for hunting rifles, mainly. The 9.362, which we got over here, is for hunting, mainly. Then the 306 we got over here is for the M1 Grand, and also a few others. This is a 308 or a 7.62 mainly used for hunting or AK-47s. It's the same bullet, actually. You don't actually hunt with the AK-47, but you could theoretically hunt with it because it's the same bullet. And here you've got the 7mm Magnum and the 12 gauge. You see, we can't use like fully automatic guns for hunting in Sweden only have automatics and we can only load them with three bullets in the clip even though the clip is for like six bullets you can only use three but if you use a bolt action rifle you can use all the slots very strange but that's the law and we are following it so yeah but here is my collection. I thought I would do another updated video with some more information on just the uh, rifle bullets. I don't know m too much about uh, pistol bullets. Oh, by the way, anyone know how many jewels the 22 has? 22 long? Anyways, please subscribe and rate and do everything. You know, comment. I love comments. Just comment. You don't even need to write anything meaningful. Just comment something. Bye, y'all.